Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be um, kind of a chatty. I need to organize my color supplies, so that's what's in here. I got a container from Walmart, um, and I'm gonna be discussing my journey to like silver. Um, I need to retone it, because you can see the blonde peeking through. There's some spots like where my low lights were that I need to like run some more bleach over. I ended up having to pull some of the color out. So like the gray that I've got is a little bit different. I do have some more toner. So if this starts to bother me too much, I can retone it, but I'm kind of trying to let my hair rest. So that's what we're going to be doing. I will kind of discuss the process, what I did. Like I said, my roots, like there's different colors going on and I will explain why. Um, but like I said, I do have some more like silver like gray toner that I can use my dogs are in the house so like one's up there and the other I'm not going to say their names because then they'll come over here but one's in front of me so if you see the dogs moving around they're out so yeah I'm going to organize my color and I will discuss my process to go silver so yeah that's what we're going to be doing um if that sounds interesting stick around make sure you're subscribed and we're going to get I tried to it. move you a little bit so you can kind of see I'm going to scoot back so my hair's like it is a lighter gray and I did use purple shampoo, but you can see where like my root um, meets like where the blonde wasn't quite as blonde that needs to like have some bleach run down. And then there's some darker spots up in here where I had like my low lights that I need to run some bleach. So we'll start off. There's a lady that I watch. It's Jade the Libra. Um, and she's got this really pretty, like, light, silvery gray hair. And so I was like, oh, I want that. So my hair is pretty blonde. If you've been watching my videos for a while, like, I did start doing, like, a shadow root. So my roots did start to get a little bit darker. But my hair is pretty blonde. I would say I'm about a level 10, which 11 is platinum. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll do my roots at home. Well, I accidentally bleached my roots platinum I bleached them to a level 11 which it's not recommended to go that light um not on purpose but it's one of those things where 30 minutes isn't quite long enough I only get to about a nine and a half but 45 minutes was too long so I need to figure out what the time is in between where I can get a 10 I ended up giving myself a little bit of a chemical burn I do 30 volume on my roots which it's not recommended and I would never do that on a client but at home generally when I stick to about 35, 40, 45 minutes was a little bit too long. I was between 45 and 50. It was just too long. But I ended up having, I'll start off with the story and then we'll go into my color supplies and I'll organize my bin. Um, because my roots were so white, there was absolutely no pigment. And I did tone my hair out, so I had it all kind of an even blonde. Um... The first color that I used is semi, it's considered a semi-permanent, but it's the kind that you can buy that you don't put developer in. This is my icy white toner. It looked like a silvery color. So I may use this on my hair at some point of my hair. This is just Wella. I think this is made by Wella. Yeah, it is Wella. It, well, it's comparable. This is the generic value products. It's compared to the Wella Color Charm. This is the Icy White. It looked like a silver. I got this at Sally's um, just because the store where I get my professional grade products is farther into town. And I was at Sally's getting stuff um, for my new job. So I just picked this up. We'll try it. It looked like a silvery platinum-y color. So it can't be any worse than what I've already used. So I'm going to leave those out. Those will go on top. And then when I find my liquid developer, but I will show you if I can find it. This, back. this is all of my color stuff. Like it's just a mess. Um, but my roots, here's my liquid. I use the Paul Mitchell processing liquid um, for like I went over everything with a demi to try and fix it. Because the first color that I went over was a Paul Mitchell, but because my roots were platinum, the color did not do anything to my roots. So my roots were white, and then I had patches of silver because I mixed two different colors together, but like parts of it took the gray, and then parts of it were blonde, 
And then I had like lavender strips because one of the colors I used had a lot of silvers will have a blue or a purple base. So the one color I used clearly was lavender based. These are the two that I mixed. I got the Paul Mitchell Pop XG. So these are like a semi-permanent, but you don't put developer with them. You just put the color straight on the tube. So I mixed steel. What is this other one called? Opal Essent, which has the lavender base. Well, that's what, because there were spots in my hair that were so blonde, that's what my hair grabbed. So it like wasn't even, didn't, this didn't do anything to my roots because my roots were too blonde. Like it was a whole thing. Another toner that I like, this is the lightest natural um, blonder. It's a permanent liquid toner. This is from Wella. I like the Wella products um, if you're at Sally's because Sally's is something the general consumer can get a hold of. I think my friend Lauren gave me these. I don't know where, I have two of them. I don't know where these came from. I think my friend Lauren gave me these. So I have those. Um, I have a, like that's some garbage. I have a lot of leftover um, is this a purple? I don't even know what this is. Like these semi permanent colors that you don't mix developer. This is orchid something or other. And then I have a dark red brown. I think that's my mother-in-law's. Like there's a Pravana purple. A lot of this stuff is left over from when I was in beauty school. Um, that box is garbage. I have brushes like from school when I was doing my practical that have junk on them that I never cleaned apparently. So like these three, I might just throw away because I didn't realize I never cleaned them when I, and I took, I've been licensed for two years. So yeah, some of those, I think I'm just going to throw this one. So anyways, so that the Paul Mitchell didn't take evenly at all so I went to Sally's and I got it was it was one of these like chroma shine the chroma shine brand the um the semi-permanent it was in titanium because titanium looks like a metally silver well titanium is very blue based so my hair looked like quicksilvers from and then I have some more toner this is chi I have the extra light golden blonde this is a G and then the extra light neutral blonde. So those are all toners that I got forever ago. Um, so I put the titanium on, so my hair turned like a blue, like a dark bluey silver. And then I still had chunks where it didn't take. There's a couple of spots underneath where, um, the blonde wasn't being taken up as much because it's underneath, so it doesn't matter. And like when I was doing the low light, so I need to put some bleach on. And then like these darker, like yellowy blonde spots that you're seeing just need a little bit more bleach. Um, I do have a foil ball, ball uh, balayage kit. This is Chi. It's got all like the lightener, the blonding powder, the foils, the brush. Is that what this brush came out of? Yes, that is what that brush came out of, I think. Unless I have another one. I'm going to put this brush back in here so it's everything but the developer. So I have that lightener. And then I will show you the lightener that I like. I get the Joyco. But again, you got to have the Joyco is a professional. I like the Pravana developer. I've used that. That's almost up. This ProCare, I think this is from Sally's maybe 30 volume the developer I don't think it matters I have some 20 volume I don't use the 20 much I got sample packets of like this is the rose gold pastel color wash some temporary tattoos in here it's a bunch of junk there's a Joyco defy like a sample of their defy damage line the brights, the color, the ion color brilliance brights. This is the, like what the titanium was. Um, I just have gloves. Oh, okay. 
So let me, I have some of my brushes in my cart. My cart is still up here. I think I'm gonna put the brushes in my cart so they're all together. So I'll move those. So yeah, so then I went to Cosmopro, which is the professional, these are in a box, those can go in here, supply store, and I got, it's going to come in a box like this, and it's a liquid demi, and it was the 9A, which is a 9 ash. I went with the nine instead of the 10 because I was trying to cover all that color. Well, then I didn't like like how dark it was. Um, so I made a color stripper, which I just used um, head and shoulders and baking soda, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, you leave it on the hair. It is very drying on the hair, so be very, very careful. It says you can use it like three times. I wouldn't recommend doing it that much because I had to shampoo my hair like three times to get it to not feel super dry and gross. Um, but it did pull out some of the colors, so that's why I have, like, this weird color situation that I've got right now. Here is my liquid processing bottle. Um, I have 10 volume liquid or cream developer um, that I sometimes will mix, like, with this type of stuff, but I didn't put any developer in these. Um, generally, if you're going to use a liquid toner or demi, get a liquid because the cream developer is a nightmare to get out of these bottles. Yeah, here's my Joyco Blonde Life. This is the lightener that I like to use. There's something in here. It wasn't closed. Ugh. Yuck. Okay, this developer sure I put those bottles upright. But there's a color cape that has developer. I've got to clean the carpet in here so I don't mind it. It's this lightest natural blonde. That's just a gray color that I bought when I was doing my mom's friend's hair the garbage. Uh, foils. Okay. So let's put some of this stuff in here and I'll try and move you so you can kind of see. I'm just going to try and stack these bottles. Generally with my own hair, I will do 30 volume, which is why like my 30 volume is so large. Um, when I'm doing clients, I try to stick to 20 um, if you're doing foils, I can foil pretty fast. Sometimes I'll do 30 depending on how light they want to do their highlights. But yeah, like this liquid strictly for like my toners. So I'm going to put these toners where I can see them because I'm going to have to tone my hair again. Um, like I said, I'm not happy with the color that it is, but it's trying to fix a lot of oopsies. So it is what it is. And then I have all this extra random leftover color and all the other junk. Um, gloves. I'm going to put the gloves in between this mess. I have some more gloves, I think, in my cart back. Got some of this stuff I think I'm just going to put, I think I have room in my cart. The brushes, the spatula, this thing can go in here. Um, my color key I'll put in my cart so it's easy for me to find. And then some of my bowls. Some of my bowls are in feels like it's closed. Okay. Put my lightener in there and then my color apron. So yeah, that was my interesting journey 
to silver and it's still a process like I had heard that silver was kind of a pain to achieve I had heard that from stylists before I don't know if this is gonna fit in here I was hoping it would but I don't know if it will um I had heard from stylists before that silver was a pain and now I understand why. And like I said, my hair was pretty blonde because one of the biggest mistakes people make is that their hair is not blonde enough. My hair is pretty blonde and I still ran into trouble. So it's definitely been a learning experience. This can go in my cart too. But yeah, hopefully that wasn't too boring. I figured I would just give you a little update on my silver situation. It's still a work in progress. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.